All right guys, so number four feature that I absolutely love in the Lightroom CC is their HDR feature. Now, in the past, I was not a big fan of HDRs. Uh, a lot of times when people do them, they, what we call, overcook them. They look, they look like an HDR image. But there are times as a wedding photographer when I am basically thrown into a very contrasty scene. And what I mean by that is I'm getting something that's really, really bright and it's really, really dark. And sometimes, sometimes that's actually with a bride and groom where they're standing up, they're looking at each other and I got the groom in the sun and I got the bride in the shadows. And it makes it very, very difficult often to be able to capture all the detail and be able to see both the shade and the highlights. So the shadows and the highlights. So what I found is that the HDR feature in Lightroom does a really good job in being able to piece those images together. And not only that, but the great thing about it is that it actually pieces it together and then gives me a raw DNG, a digital negative, that I can then go in and actually tweak even further. So let me just show you an example here. Um, this is an image uh, that we actually used in the previous HDR tutorial that SR Lounge put out. And so you, if you'd like, you can go back and compare it. Maybe you were a previous owner already. Um, so I'm going to select these three images. So we got basically one kind of in the middle. As far as exposures go, we got one that's a little bit darker, but notice that we're getting more of that tone in the sky. And then we got one, one more with more kind of the highlights. Okay, so I'm gonna select those three images. Again, I'm gonna come right up here to photo, go to photo merge, HDR, okay? So right here, I'm basically, I'm given a couple choices. I have auto align, which definitely wanna make sure I have that selected. I have auto tone, which is gonna go ahead and after it creates an HDR image, it's gonna kinda try to find the right tone for me. So it's gonna move those sliders around a little bit. I actually leave that selected as well. And then these ghost amount, this basically is if you have any kind of movement in your images, maybe it's some trees or things like that, and you wanna make sure that if you've ever done an HDR image, sometimes you'll notice there's a little bit of ghosting, kind of this right on the edges of anything that has kind of moved. Well, that's gonna basically help you to, to get rid of that. So Lightroom's already built a button in there to help with that. So you can see it basically what it's done is taken those three images and it's given me the best parts of each image. So for example, in the darker image, I've got more of that sky, but yet I still got the highlights from the, the lighter image and even the midtones in there and the water and so forth. So I hit merge. Again, it's creating the, the HDR image right up here. You can see it goes pretty fast. Um, I mean, relatively fast. It's actually, I have a couple things going on if I'm not mistaken. I was creating that panorama as well. So once it's done with that, it dropped it in here for me and I can see immediately that I got a, a much better, I got, again, I got the, the sky from the darker tones I got some of the midtones and the highlights and it's all combined together in one great image that doesn't look overcooked, right? And so when I say overcooked, I know that's not the, the technical term, but it doesn't look like an HDR image that so many of us are, are, are used to from seeing it in the past. Now there's nothing wrong with those images. In fact, I can take this and I can make it more, um, kind of really bring out kind of these tones. In fact, let's go to our dehaze slider and click that in and I can see, I can, I can create that, what's been known as kind of that HDR look, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for something more natural, right? So I'm gonna bring that dehaze slider down a little bit, maybe bring my clarity slider up just a little bit and immediately I can see I, what I love about this HDR feature in Lightroom CC is that it's a digital negative, it's a raw file. So I can actually manipulate it and have fun with it outside of just being like a JPEG or a TIFF where I'm basically manipulating pixels, here I'm actually playing with the data from the image before I turn it into these JPEG pixels. So I love it. Um, again, I've never been one to use HDR in the past, but already when I'm out there shooting, when I find those situations, what I do is I, I situations of high contrast, I just put my camera on, on bracketing. So I'll do a quick bracket, I'll put on high speed shutter. So I just hold down my shutter and it will immediately shoot one, two, three, three images, one bright, one middle, and one dark. And then I know later on when I'm going through Lightroom, I wanna make sure I take those three images, create a quick HDR, and then go ahead and, and, and make some adjustments from there. So again, if you're not using it, go check it out. It's right over here. Take those three, four, five images, whatever you have, come up to Photo Merge, HDR, and create a nice, awesome, natural looking HDR. So my hat's off to Lightroom. They did a great job on this one. And I can just paint this back and say, you know what? I really do like that graduated filter in the, in the clouds, but I didn't mean for it to actually take effect 
here on this mountain range or in these trees. And I really want to show that area off.